You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hey there, welcome to episode 275 of the Soul Forge podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey gang, welcome back to the show. It's Sean, and with me this week is special guest Melissa. How are you today, Melissa? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm happy to be back. Your second ever podcasting experience. It is. How excited are you? So excited. Good, <laughs> good. All right. So we're up in the living room and there's animals all around. So dear listeners, if you hear weird sounds, well, it's a cat or a dog doing things. <laughs> Wanting our attention. Mostly. Yeah. Okay. So this week's topic is basically about aging and enjoying life. Because last week you read to me part of an article and then you sent it to me because I thought that's podcast gold right there. Mm -hmm. And so what I thought I would do to begin the podcast is read most of this, uh, what would you call this? Not an article, a post? It's someone posted it, yeah. Yeah, someone posted it. Uh, We're going to credit it to Robert Young. November 19th, 2021, he posted this, so not too long ago. Uh, It's fairly long, so get yourself a drink and sit back and relax, and I'm going to read this out to you. Well, not all of it, just most of it. Most of us are now in the last quarter of our life and should read this interesting piece of advice. This is one of the nicest and most gentle articles I've read in a while. No politics, no religion, and no racial issues. Just food for thought. You know, time has a way of moving quickly and catching you unaware of the passing years. It seems just yesterday that I was young and embarking on my new life. Yet, in a way, it seems like eons ago, and I wonder where all the years went. I know that I lived them all. I have glimpses of how it was back then, and of all my hopes and dreams. However... Here it is, the last quarter of my life, and it catches me by surprise. How did I get here so fast? Where did the years go, and where did my youth go? I remember well seeing older people through the years and thinking that those older people were years away from me, and that I was only on the first quarter, and that the fourth quarter was so far off that I could not visualize it or imagine fully what it would be like. Yet, here it is. My friends are retired and getting gray. They move slower and I see an older person now. Some are in better and some are in worse shape than me, but I see the great change. They're not like the ones that I remember who were young and vibrant, but like me, their age is beginning to show and we are now those older folks that we used to see and never thought we'd become. Each day now, I find that just getting a shower is a real target for the day and taking a nap is not a treat anymore, it's mandatory, because if I don't, of my own free will, I fall asleep where I sit. And so, now I enter this new season of my life, unprepared for all the aches and pains, and the loss of strength and ability to go and do things that I wish I had done, but never did. But at least, I know that, though I'm on the last quarter, and I'm not sure how long it will last, that when it's over on this earth, it's over. A new adventure will begin. Yes, I have regrets. There are things I wish I hadn't done, things I should have done, but truly, there are many things I'm happy to have done. It's all in a lifetime. So, if you're not on the last quarter yet, let let me remind you that it will be here faster than you think. So whatever you would like to accomplish in your life, do it quickly. Don't put things off too long. Life goes... Oh, there's one of those animal noises you were talking about. 
<laughs> Life goes by so quickly. So, do what you can today, as you can never be sure whether you're on the last quarter or not. You have no promise that you will see all the seasons of life, so live for today and say all the things that you want your loved ones to remember, and hope that they appreciate and love you for all the things that you have done for them in all the years past. Life is a gift to you. Be happy. Have a great day. I liked that. Yeah, that, that says a lot, actually. And even if you're not on the last quarter of your life, you, you don't know when it's over. No, and I think it really puts things into perspective where, you know, it's like, don't hold grudges too long. Don't take too long before you call your loved ones again or tell them you love them or get together with them. Go for a visit, you know, like you don't know how long you have. That's exactly right. And you know what else you don't have time for? You don't have time to delay listening to this podcast right here on this promo. Do you like podcasts? Then you're going to hate Thunder Talk. Tasteless subject matter. Mature humor. Contempt for our co-hosts. Unapologetic social views. Edgy music. And total irreverence for the nerd junk we love. Are all reasons why no one. No one. No one should listen to Thunder Talk. Find us on the ESO Network. And all podcasting platforms. Or don't. Whatever. And we're back. That, Good. That, that wasn't a great transition, but uh, I tried. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Got to get that promo in there somehow. For sure. Yes. So let's talk about this article. Like, we're not on the last quarter of our lives, hopefully. And most of our listeners probably aren't either. Yeah. But basically what it's saying is enjoy each and every moment. I mean, what I notice is, you know, my I'm not in my 20s anymore and my body's telling me that. You know, you see little signs of... I'm getting older. Oh yes, the aches <laughs> Whether and the pains. I like it or not, it's coming and you know, it's, it's true. Yeah, we're both in our mid 40s. Yeah. So, yeah, the uh what would you call it? The exuberance of youth is mm -hmm. is not as vibrant anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, I just feel like oh, there's a new pain or there <laughs> there is a new uh ache, but I mean, it is, you know, like part of it is talking about do what you can while you can, because I mean, we're never going to be this young ever again. No. So, you know, we have to do things now. And even if we don't feel young all the time, mm -hmm. you know, like sometimes I think, oh, I'm still in my 30s, but, but <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm not. <laughs> no. And then I think 50 is just around the corner. I don't feel like a 50 year old either. Well, I remember being younger and I remember like people who were our age, I remember thinking of them and thinking that they were old. Yeah. But like now we're that we're here, we're not like, I don't feel like, you know, we're here and it's like, I have a whole new perspective you, on, yeah. on being this age. You don't, and, you don't feel like you're an old person. No. You know, you're only as old as, as you feel, which some days is older, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I still feel like. I don't know, I guess like I'm in my 20s. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a lot of the times I, I feel too. And then when you, when you think back, like you were saying, oh, there's a person in their 40s. They must have their whole life figured out and put together. And now that we're here, we're like, oh, <laughs> nobody knows a damn thing. You know, you think like, oh, that's that's an adult. You know, they must know it all, have it all, understand it all. They've been through everything. So not the case. No, that's like when you look around for an adult and then you realize you're an adult. <laughs> yeah. And then you look for an adultier adult. <laughs> yeah. Or when you see somebody in a store and you're like, that person looks vaguely familiar, but they look old. And then you realize, oh, I went to school with them. And like, I must look that old too. I just don't realize it. It's, it's true. Yeah. Because yeah. you just see yourself and you don't think you look any different than you did back then but I, I've noticed the gray hairs in the beard and I've noticed the wrinkles around my eyes I've noticed how many times I have to dye my hair <laughs> <laughs> well remember that uh girl that we ran into the other day at the store and and her and I had gone to elementary school together and I I asked her did you go to this school and she says, yeah. She's like, Melissa? I said, yeah. I'm like, oh, she recognized me too. But yeah, I can picture her, you know, her younger self. And just, it's funny how after all those years and, you know, you can still recognize somebody and be. Well, she said you hadn't changed. 
well, come on now. She was being, she, <laughs> she was being very polite because I mean, <laughs> what, like I'm trying to think how many years ago that would have been 35. Yeah. I'm, but thank you. Right. <laughs> I'll take it. No kidding. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But sometimes I'll see someone, remember, um, we were out at a football game and, and I said, I think we went to high school with that person. And then we're trying to think of who it was. Oh, we're going to have to get out the yearbooks. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Because nobody looks the same 30 years later. No. There's like vague glimpses of yes. what they used to look like. Which, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, and sometimes I get the actual flash of what they did look by, like back then. But yeah, it's kind of neat just to run into people. But yeah, like sometimes I remember one girl, we had been friends back in high school and then I saw her in the store and it, I was kind of taken aback, but see, okay, truth be told, the secret's out, you know, I've already talked about my hair dye. I would be fully gray if I <laughs> let it all grow out, but this person that would I you? went to school, oh yeah, oh. I'd probably be more gray than what my mom is. Like she has the nice salt and pepper hair Yeah, and I've seen like when I've taken too long to dye it, oh, that I what did, it would be like. I did like. not know this. Well, next time it grows out a little bit, I'll, I'll uh, sh- shed some light for you on the situation because some parts are like really white. But anyways, let's change that sh- subject. But anyways, I see her and I think, oh, that's an older person, but it's just she's let her hair grow out and mm. I haven't. And Yes. But, yeah, I'm struggling with that because I think about doing that. But And I mean, I know how old I am. Like, I'm not in denial about that. And I actually like being this age. That's what we were talking about the other day. Yeah. You, yeah, And I, I've always thought that I was born at the best time. Yeah. You know, born in 1976. And, and now I'm 46, going to be 47 this year. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. But when I was 16, just getting my driver's license... I could just get my driver's license. I didn't have to go through the graduated mm, system. Yeah, me either. So that was good. I just I just squeaked by. And then <laughs> when I was in high school, um, you just did your classes, you passed, and you graduated. But mm-hmm. now they have to do 40 hours of community service and stuff. So I missed that too. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, they do. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 40 hours of community service within the four years. But come on now. I guess that's really not a bad thing. No. It gives them a little bit of life it, experience. It, it and... does. But I just missed all those different things. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, ha ha. I didn't have to go through any of that crap. <laughs> so sure, now I'm now I'm almost 50. but uh, And now we just have to work every day. Well. So. That's true. I guess we didn't really dodge anything, no, did we? <laughs> no, that's right. But uh, where was I going with that? I don't know. Oh, sorry. I interrupted. But you know, I, there was this girl that I... I read her fitness stuff and watch her fitness videos and and she says I don't have to exercise I get to exercise mindset it is because even like you know I don't have to go to work every day I get to go to work every day and I mean it's choices you make right that's right that's right yeah and then go back to the article where he notices hey my youth is gone mm-hmm. and i look around at all these old people and realize i'm old too yeah well sometimes i'll look at these old people they're they're driving their cars and they're like like a 60 or an 80 year old lady mm-hmm. and, and she's all done up and stuff and she looks very proper and mm-hmm. whatever and then i think back you know what when she was a teenager she was probably wild and rambunctious oh, and, and now yeah. and now over the decades she's become more serious and, and it makes you think what were these people like when they were our age or younger Actually, I saw a picture um, online and it was about, I can't remember exactly what it said, but it's like, hey, if your grandma, or if you were born in this year, this is what your grandma looked like back then or something. And there was these four oh, ladies. Yes. Yeah, like this old picture. This is what your grandmas looked like in the 70s. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, you, you know, you don't realize you don't think of them that way. No, that's right. And, and I mean, you look at, you know, older people and you think they've lived, like think of how much they've seen and how much they've gone through. It's just. Well, yeah, that's right. And we, we grew up without the internet. Yeah. Kids can't say that now. No. No. And I remember one time uh, my mother asked her grandmother and she says, Grandma, what's it, your, what's it like in your head? Is it like full of cobwebs and stuff? <laughs> 
because she was old. She was in yeah. her, I think she was in her eighties at the mm-hmm. time. And and great grandma was like, no, I, I still feel like I've always felt. And I think that's how it's going to be. Like you're just, you know, you, you get older, but I mean, in my mind, you're still who you've always been. Oh yeah. And I mean, you think of like older people with, and sometimes older people get treated like, like they're, you know, it's like the opposite of like, you're taking care of your parent now, or you're taking care of, of somebody older where you think that they're not capable of doing things or they may not know how to do things. And and at some point that may be the case, but they don't get the respect that they deserve. No, no. Like, Cause you treat them like they're feeble. Yeah. Feeble and like incompetent. And you think of how much they, like we know how hard life can be sometimes. And when, you know, you have older people, like they just, well, you think of in uh, indigenous culture where the elders are the most respected right and and that's really how it should be because i mean they're not given the credit and the respect that they deserve no that's right they're just shuffled off into the old, the old folks home and out of sight out of mind yeah yeah i mean some people you know it when you think of life and if you've had loss in your life you understand how precious it is to be you know with the people that you love that's right and you know that they're not going to be around forever no that's for sure so i mean i know for myself i i don't well i try not to take anything or anyone for granted because you just don't know no you never know when the last time you're going to see somebody is or interactions or whatever it might be Mm -hmm. yeah well and that's another thing too you know treat people with kindness because for one, you don't know what they've been through. And for another thing, you don't know how long they're going to be around. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Everyone these days could use a little support. And your friends at the ESO Network are no different. With the ESO Network Patreon, the cool thing is, is when you help support us, it's you who will benefit. With four tiers starting for as little as 25 cents a week, you can listen to some of your favorite network podcasts early hear exclusive content, maybe get some ESO swag, or even possibly take a shot at the geek seat. All you need to do is sign up at patreon.com backslash ESO network. To do a tangent, like we were talking about before we started recording, Mm -hmm. don't save anything for good. Right. Like my grandma would say, oh, I can't use that. It's too nice. (laughs) <laughs> exactly exactly and my mom had the same thing mm-hmm. she was like oh that's the good stuff and then and then she would try to change that and she'd say things like never save anything for good because good never comes it's always good mm-hmm. and and i still have that thing where that's my favorite coffee mug so i'm not going to use it in mm-hmm. case i break it yeah or i'm not going to wear my favorite t-shirt in case it gets a stain on it and then i can't wear it anymore mm-hmm. and i got to keep reminding myself no it's okay to use the things that you like for sure i mean use them do the things you know just experience all you can experience right quit quit restricting yourself exactly and don't let fear hold you back because i think that's a lot of what it is it is totally is you're afraid of what might go wrong and forget of what might go right and what might be one of the best times you've ever had exactly and uh, just in case chris was listening um uh, <laughs> She says, I bring this up too often about moving back to the Sioux mm-hmm. from Timmins. And yeah, I'm bringing it up again, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> I, for 19 years, I lived in Timmins and wanted to move back to the Sioux every day that I was there. Mm-hmm. But fear kept me there. And finally, I snapped and I lost it and I uh, made the decision to move back. And it's the best thing I've ever done. Good. Yeah. I mean, that's what you have to do. You can't, you can't get too in your head about things. I mean, I mean, it's smart to plan and, you know, uh, make sure everything's in place before you do things. But it's also, if you think about it too much, you might talk yourself out of it. Well, I, uh, I put a transfer in, uh, well, everybody knows I work at the post office and that's how I got here. I transferred in, uh, back in April of last year, but mm-hmm. back in twenty. 20- 10 i actually put a transfer in and it came through oh and i didn't accept it because well bishop was only four yeah and and i didn't feel ready no and i mean yeah with bishop being four that would have been a hard time to do that yeah mm. 
So I, I had to stay for him until he was old enough. For sure. And uh, now I'm here. Yeah. And we're together. And yeah. life is nothing but peaches and cream. Oh, yes. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. And if you believe that, no. <laughs> yeah, true enough, right? No, but you know what? You Life is what you make of it. And that goes for relationships. That goes for adventures. You know, it's all about what you do. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, uh, I've, I've reconnected with my brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 what else? Uh, actually, over the last little bit, my dad and I are reconnecting, mm -hmm. which is unusual and I never thought would happen. Yeah. Um, started making some decent friends at the post office. Mm -hmm. So every, everything just coming together. Like, yeah, life is exactly where it needs to be and it feels good. And mm -hmm. Is it? And you do what you can to make it good. You know, you try to be mindful and not get in your head too much and think too much and just, you know, enjoy every bit of it. And just keep saying to yourself, I'm so lucky I get everything I want. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I saw that on a TikTok and so I try to say it every day. That's good. Yeah. Good little reminder. And then, you know, sometimes if I get in a little... uh What's the word? <laughs> if I get in a little bit of a, in my head, maybe I'll go, I'll say that. I just have to, you know, get out of it and just say your little saying or that's it right. helps. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly it. So back to the article. Mm -hmm. Anything else we need to bring up or have we said it all? I'm sure there's more to say, but there's also more podcasts to come. There are definitely... <laughs> more podcasts to come that is quite true mm -hmm. all right so i guess we'll leave it there dear listeners uh basically live your best life don't hold back don't let fear stop you from doing all the good stuff and tell your people that you love them exactly all the time yeah so until next time, I hope you'll take care of yourselves and each other. If you'd like to make a donation, you could always go to the coffee account, which is ko-fi.com slash rusted soul and make a $3 donation to uh, help the podcast survive. I never mentioned that, but I figured I would this time. Okay. Uh, go to Rusted Robot Toys on Etsy. Go to Rusted Robot Toys on the YouTube channel to follow all the podcasts there. Uh, and until next time, remember... You are worn and cracked and dented, and that is okay, because I have never heard of a clean and shiny sword that won a war. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Soul Forge Podcast. Your support is greatly appreciated, and we hope you'll tune in again next time. Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links, and don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping for the Tee Public Store, which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.